Hi, on the SATs you'll find problems that have to do with percentages. Uh, most of those can be solved with just one equation. Uh, part over a whole is going to equal the percent over a hundred. We're going to break that down and show a couple examples of how to use that equation. And then I've got six sample problems from the official practice SATs picked out that have to do with percents as well. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at percents and percent problems. So a percent is just a ratio out of 100. So if we're talking something like 13%, that's the same as 13 out of 100. So to find a simple percent, 6 is what percent of 8? We can take that ratio of part over a whole. So 6 divided by 8, we reduce that fraction and change it to a decimal, we get 0.75. So then as a percent, 0.75 as a percent, we've got to move the decimal point over two places to make it a percent. So 0.75 as a percent is going to be 75%. So just to go over some common percentages, um, just knowing these will, will help you solve things a little easier. One half or 0.5 is the same as 50%. One fourth or 0.25 is the same as 25%, 1 fifth is the same as 20%, and then 1 tenth is the same as 10%. Now multiples of 10% are easy to work with. Um, a lot of times we can do these in our head. So if we were going to do 10% of 6, in order to do 10%, we just need to move the decimal point back 1, because um, we're taking 1 tenth. 10% 10 is the same as 1 tenth. So that's going to be 6. So then we can use that for other multiples as well. So 5%, if 10% is 6, then 5% is just going to be half of that, or 3. If we did 10% and 5%, we would get 15%, or 9. Just add the 6 and 3 and get 9. If 10% is 6, then 20% is going to be 12. We just double it. And if 10% is 6, then we can triple it to get 30%, or 18. So if you haven't got multiples of 10%, um, they're pretty easy to work with. Just figure out what 10% is first, and then take multiples from there. So in all problems that we have um, in doing percentages, they can all be solved with this one um, equation. So the part over the whole equals a percent over the hundred over 100. Now in some places you might have heard it, the is over of. Some uh, teachers in some text uh, describe it as is over of. That's just because in a word problem, when you're talking about the part, it says is, and when you're talking about the whole, it says of. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So what is 20% of 40? So the way we would set up this is x over 40 equals 20 over 100. We don't know what the part is, so the part is x. The whole is 40. The percent is 20 and it's always over 100 for a percentage. So the is over the of, it says what is, so we don't know the is part. And the of, it says of 40. So that just gives you a, a little trick as far as what goes in the part and what goes in the whole. So whichever one helps, to, um, helps you to get this right is fine. So now to solve for x, we've got to cross multiply here. So we're going to multiply the x times the 100 and the 40 times the 20 and set them equal to each other. So we get 100x equals 800. To solve for that, we just divide by 100 and get x equals 8. All right, another version of the problem. 6 is 25% of what number? So we would set up 6. We know what the part is. Here, we don't know what the whole is. So the variable here is going to be in the denominator for the whole because we don't know of what number. And we do know the percentage is 25. And again, we cross multiply 25x equals 600, divide by 25, and we get x equals 24. And in the last problem, 10 is what percent of 50? So here we know the part in the whole. The part is 10, the whole is 50. What we don't know is the percent. So here we put the variable in for the percent. So x over 100, we cross multiply. And here we get 50x equals 1,000. Divide by 50, and you get the percent equals 
Okay, let's take a look at these six sample problems that have to do with percents. All right, and the first problem, customer's monthly water bill was 74, 75.74. It increased to 79.86. We want to find out what percent increase that is. So first of all, let's find out how much it increased in dollar amounts. So 79.86 minus 75.74. The dollar increase was four dollars and twelve cents. We can then take that four twelve and divide by the original. We've got to divide by seventy four seventy five because that's the starting point. So when we're doing percentages, we got to make sure we always divide by the starting point. So we get four twelve divided by seventy five point seventy four, and that's going to get us point oh five four or 5.4 percent answer D now another way you could do this too you could say we went up to 79.86 divide that by the starting point 75.74 and in this case you're going to get 1.054 and we just need to recognize the one is because we are uh, keeping the original amount in in this, the 7574 is included in the 7986, and then the 0 0.054 represents the increase, or again, 5.4%. Okay, the next problem, um, it's pretty wordy, but we'll pick out the relevant information. So you had 7% of juniors and 5% of seniors inducted into the National Honor Society. There was 562 juniors and 602 seniors. So we'll just break it down uh, into juniors and seniors. So to figure out the number of juniors, we do 562 times 0 0.07, because it told us it was 7%, that's going to get us 39. And for the seniors, we've got 602 of them. We're going to multiply by 5%, or 0 0.05, or 0 0.05, which is going to get us 30. We add those two together, and we're going to get 60. Nine is our total, and our total is going to be B. All right, in this problem, um, again, it's very wordy, but let's just prick out the approximate the, the um, information, which is we have an approximately twenty percent less than calcium and calcium is 40. So we're just basically trying to find 20% less than 40. So a couple different ways we could do it. We could do 40 times 0.2 is 8. 0.2 is the 20%. And then go 40 minus 8 and get 32. So that 8 represents 20% of 40. It's 20% less, so we go 40 minus 8 or 32. The other way you could do it is that if it's 20% less, that means that it's 80%. So we could do 80% times 40 and get 32 as well. All right, and the fourth problem, um, we're just trying to find, here's the typical taxes, and then there was a tax deduction um, that uh, decreased it by 23.25 and we just want to find out what percent that is. So all we need to do to find what percent 23.25 is of 15,500 is set it up. 23.25 is the part. 15.5 is the whole. And then just divide those two 
and we'll get 15%. So D is going to equal 15 because they're asking for D percent, so 15%. All right, in this problem, we have um, type A trees are producing 20 more percent pairs than type B trees. We have type A produced 144, and we want to find out what B is. So this we actually have to do, um, we have to actually go backwards, because the information we have, if type A is 20% more than type B. That means we could take type B, multiply it by 1.2, and that's going to get how many is in A. Because it tells us that A is 20% more than B. But we're given A, and we've got to find B. So in order to go the other way, then A divided by 1.2 is going to get us what B is. So if we have 144 in type A, then we go 144 divided by 1.2, and that's going to get us 120. Now we could check that too. Um, if that was a little confusing, we can just check it to make sure. So type B is 120. And it tells us we produce 20% more, so times 0.2. It means we're going to produce 20% um, of 120, which is 24, and that gets us 144. So it checks out. All right, in this last problem, um, Townsend Realty purchased Glenwood Street property. So this is the number we're dealing with right here. That's the Glenwood Street property. They received a 40% discount off the original price, then an additional 20% off of that discounted amount. And that got them 140000 So we got to start out, figure out what the starting point was. So if we have um, the original to get that 40% discount, right, we would have to um, multiply by 0.6. So a 40% discount, we're going to have to multiply, and that gets us our discount, our discounted amount 1, right, because we still have another discount to do. Then off of that discount, we get a 20% discount. So we would have to multiply by Point eight to get our final cost. All right, so it's just taking 100 minus 40%, 100% minus 40%, or 60%. Same thing with the 20%. So now we have what the final cost is at 140,000. So we can work it backwards. So to get from this discount to the final cost, we multiplied by 0.8. So going back, we could divide by 0.8. So we take 140,000 and we divide by 0.8, we get 175,000. Then again, to get the original to this first discount, we multiplied by 0.6. So then we could divide by 0.6. So we take 175,000, divide it by 0.6, and we're going to get 291,667, which is approximately B for the answer. Thanks for watching, and if you have an SAT coming up, good luck. I'm going to continue to add SAT material. So if you'd like to subscribe right up here, you can get notification of when new material comes out. And I've got some more stuff for you to watch right here. Thanks again for watching and please come back soon.